Hey, how's it going folks? ET here. Today's tutorial is how to control the volume in your project. Whether you want to go up, whether you want to go down, whether you want one part to go up, one part to go down. We're going to show you how to do that and there's a few ways to do it. So let's get started with the easiest way first. We have a video on our timeline here and you'll notice there's a line right in the middle if you see the waveform here. And once you scroll your mouse over that line, you'll notice that you'll get an up arrow and a down arrow. So what you do is you click your left mouse and you go up to get to up to 400%, and then you go down to get down to zero. Okay, so that controls the volume of the whole clip. Say you're, when you record it is too low, you bump it up. Take note of, of the peaking here in the yellow and the red. Sometimes it really doesn't matter because the volume is so low that even if it appears to peak in the video, it still sounds good on a set of speakers or headphones. So basically that did the whole clip itself, yeah? Control the volume of the whole clip. So maybe you only want one section to have an increase in volume. What you're gonna do is find that section and you can either right click and split clip in the beginning and right click and split clip at the end. So you have that section that now you can independently control the volume. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, there's a new functionality here where you can actually hold the R key on your keyboard and then drag your mouse while clicking the left mouse button and then you'll be able to control a section of the clip here. Once you do that, when you do increase and decrease the volume, it automatically drops some points for you on the line here. Okay, so pretty easy to do. Pretty cool, actually, that new function. So just hold the R key down, roll your scroller to where you want it, and then left click with the mouse and hold it down and just drag until you get to where you need to be. If it gets too far, you can actually control the handles here. And then once you get it to exactly where you want it, you can now control that volume there independently. And once you click somewhere else, you notice the points actually stay there and you can kind of customize them just a little bit if you don't want it too abrupt. And you can add new points as well by using the option key, holding that down the keyboard and then clicking on the line, it'll put another point there, which will give you a little bit more independent control of it. Put as many as you want actually. So the third way, as I mentioned briefly there, is to use the option key on your keyboard and then put little points here. That will allow you to customize the volume points basically of the video. So for example, you want it to go down here, you want it to go up here, you want to go a little bit down there, then you want a long one here, you want to add another point here to make it more gradual, add another point here add another point here. You can basically customize the sound of the video in any way you want. It's a really, really cool functionality that's offered in iMovie. Well, there you go. That's it. That's how you control the volume. Don't forget, as always, subscribe, thumbs up, share it with a friend, a colleague, a family member. And as usual, don't forget, peace and a whole bunch of aloha. Spread that aloha spirit. We need more love in the world today. Yeah.